studio at uh, 10. But we've got an interesting topic today. We're going to talk about um, strength training and strength coaches, which are different than your little league coach, your college football coach, your high school baseball coach. A strength coach is unique coach. And uh, Brian's got a um, program uh, up at Parkway Athletic Club where they're training young athletes and preparing them and uh, perfecting them to maximize their ability in their sport. That's what a strength coach does. So real quick, uh, Brian, welcome. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> hey, Steve, I appreciate you having me the, uh, uh, the opportunity again to come on and talk about, you know, training. And this one's really near and dear to my heart. And this is taking care of our young athletes. Right. And there's a, there's a big difference between a strength coach. I, I grew up with sports and I was very fortunate, blessed to be trained by probably one of the best strength coaches of his time. He's still in the business. Go look him up. His name's Bob Aleo. Uh, he's been um, a strength coach for multiple uh, professional uh, sports teams, basketball, baseball, and so on. Um, so I was very fortunate to be trained by him. And, and what a strength coach does is, and I, I think that these quality strength coaches are starting to get down more into the lower levels. We never had a strength coach, not even in high school. We didn't have a strength coach. We had our coaches who taught us the game, but they weren't strength coaches. They weren't specialized strength coaches. So by the time I got in college, we had strength coaches and they would help us prevent injuries by warming up properly, by stretching properly, by doing the right explosive power type movements, depending on the sport. So um, it's really, really important. And if your young athlete, male or female, has uh, inspirations to really go to a higher level, the college level or, or even higher, a strength coach is needed. So tell us a little bit about uh, what you do, Brian. So the, the, the program is um, sponsored by the Baseball Palace. Baseball Palace is a large organization here. And in that organization, they, they have a group of elite athletes that we are committing to try to get them to that next level. We have uh, so, uh, sophomores up through one D1 commit, um, a senior. And what we're trying to do is prepare them for their upcoming sports season, which for this group, it's all baseball players this time. Um, but we'll take any athletes who want to stay in condition. Uh, the program came about because we were recognizing as trainers that the coaches generally take on this role with, with these smaller organizations and these programs. A lot of times the coach becomes the trainer and they put on the, uh, you know, the arm strengthening program so a kid can throw harder or a, you take lessons to develop a better swing and through mechanics, they develop velocity, exit velocity in a baseball so that it'll go a little further, a little deeper, things like that. I'm using baseball as the example right now, <clears throat> excuse me. But generally what happens is these coaches, you know, Hey, go run some poles. Uh, hey, let's do, uh, you know, lunges all the way across the field. Let's do some push-ups. Let's do some of this. And that's all great stuff for the ball field. That's great stuff for their athletes. What we do is we take this to a higher level. What we understand as trainers and, and working in the industry as professionals, because this is what we do, we know that you have to train the entire body. So these athletes, when they're coming in and they're working with us, they're not coming in to lift weights like I would. We don't care how much they bench. We don't care how much they squat. We want their whole body functioning. We want spill, speed. We want agility. We want quickness. With that comes strength through the conditioning that we do. We want muscular power, yeah, power muscular endurance. 
We're not worried if we throw 315 on the bench and they push it three times. We want them using their total body plyometric training. We want them using ladders, speed quick, speed and quickness. We want to be doing sprints, using our kettlebells, using our dumbbells, using all of these different modalities so that we can perfect the efficiency of their body. That's what we're shooting for. The belief of this program is you can take your regular athlete through purely through conditioning. You can get them to a higher level of performance. That should equate to better performance on the field. Then the coaches work on the mechanics to get them even, even better at their trade. You know, we're talking about sports <laughs> conditioning here. That's what a strength coach does, uh, sports-specific conditioning. And it's a big deal to do it right. And I just want to say, wherever you are, whether you're in New York or Kentucky or Texas, find out that your, your local high school, whatever, football coach or basketball coach, if they don't have a, a strength coach um, that coaches the team and trains the team, they may know of a place where you can find, they may be able to make a recommendation where you can get a good strength coach who is going to condition your young athlete and prepare them for their sports. So you can find them out there. And um, a lot of these guys are good uh, there. I would say they're kind of uh, two or three notches above your general personal training coach in the gym. These guys are sophisticated because they're um, dialed in with the specific sport that uh, your young athlete might be playing. One of the things that, you know, when we're, when we're taking the approach with these athletes is we want to encourage them to drain the muscle, to do whatever they can to push it. And when we equate this, when we talk to these guys and when we're putting them through their drills, we're talking about things such as the exhaustion of the muscle will train you in other things in life. It's not just about whether or not you're a performing athlete. If you're in better condition, you're going to do better in school. If you're in better condition, you're going to have a better mentality through your day. You'll be a better participant in your family and in life. We talk about the whole package and that's what we want them to be. We want them to be beautiful human beings that can conquer anything and don't have fear. And through this conditioning, this is what we are trying to develop with them. Uh, the program itself, one of the things that we found when we were working on these things, this is the first year we're doing it at Parkway Athletics, which as you know, is one of your gyms, uh, the Parkway Athletic Club. The difference is now we used to try to do this and we still do some programs for this company in their facility but we're separating the conditioning program from the uh, from the sport specific coach. We're taking professional trainers and we're moving it into our way or our facility at the Parkway Athletic Club. Why? Because we have all the equipment. We have a specialized room in our facility that is specifically designed at Parkway for team sport type of conditioning. It is our it is our optimum facility, I think, in that area for what we're trying to do. So we don't have to go hunt for things. We have everything at our at our access. The kids have, you know, for warm-ups, cool-downs, they have every treadmill you could think of, every elliptical you could think of, bicycles. They have a full gym access if they'd like it. They can swim if they'd like it. There's group classes for the parents when they come on down. The parents can get workouts when they drop their kids off. It's just a good program. And then the athletes benefit from nothing but peer conditioning through their workout. Yeah, I, I just, uh, I really want to encourage um, you parents out there. Um, if, if you're, like I said, your young athlete is really serious about progressing in their sport because a strength coach, it's a, it's a higher level of sophistication and unique sports specific movements for that sport. So it'll really make a difference. And it's not just, you know, the conditioning it's, um, really to help, you know, connect 
that kid with uh, his sport and his goals and so on. So it's much more when you kind of hit on that. But I, I just want to encourage all of you who, no matter where you are, you know, if you're in Reno or Carson or Sparks, yeah, there, there's a that's a great program there at uh, Parkway Athletic Club. But there's other good programs that are popping up all over the place because uh, athletics is is becoming uh, – it seems to me a bigger and bigger deal every year. Correct. And and we are not the only people doing this. So this we all know. But uh, we think we bring something special to the program. And for the parents out there, when you're thinking about picking this, the nice thing about that is we use smaller groups when we do this. We don't have a group of 20, 30 guys in there. I max out our class at eight participants. When uh, When we do this, your athlete, your young athlete is with the trainer the entire time. So we are watching their form. We are watching their bodies. We acknowledge that if something hurts on them, we acknowledge what we've got going on so that we can work with it and, or maybe back off a little bit. We don't take anything for granted. We listen to our athletes and we, we teach our athletes to listen to their bodies. All right. Well, great information. Um, Brian, uh, looking forward to hearing more about the program, but uh, thanks for being with us today. Thanks a lot, Steve. We'll see you soon.